Hello and welcome. You have probably already noticed all that excitement about BitCard Pioneer's mainnet launch on Kusama. In this video I'll summarize what is coming next week and also the details about near token transfers. First, what BitCountry has developed so far and what is coming next. July and August were basically a one big testing phase for BitCountry Pioneer platform. Two months ago BitCountry team launched this alpha testnet, where everyone could create their own test metaverse, build structures on their test land units, also craft NFTs and also to try out this material campaign for near staking and generating bit rewards. During this testnet phase over 3900 metaverse projects were created and over 243,000 NFTs have been minted by users. Then on August 12th, updated version of BitCountry's testnet was released, presenting the first feature complete version of BitCountry's testnet. So currently in this final version of BitCountry's testnet, users can create metaverses, which will basically serve as your web 3.0 identity and your own community hub create NFT collections, deploy virtual land in the metaverse, list and buy NFTs on a marketplace, customize metaverse environment such as different types of sky, buildings and objects, and also to customize avatar's appearance using various NFTs like hoodies, boots, pants or helmets. So this is what's already been delivered in a testnet. Now what features are coming with BitCountry's Pioneer's launch on Kusama next week? There is actually a lot. Maybe the most important and exciting feature will be staking of NIR in this material campaign to generate BIT rewards. BIT will be a building material needed for building on your land, so everyone will need to stake NIR on BIT country platform to earn BIT to be able to build. Also, NFT minting will be launched. Minting NFTs will cost NIR, not BIT. Metaverse creation will be also enabled, so everyone will be able to create their own metaverse space. I believe the first metaverse deployed on BitCountry platform should be Chaos Land, the metaverse created by BitCountry team. Also, customization of metaverse settings will be enabled and global NFT marketplace will be also ready to launch already next week. Also, there has been a little bit of confusion about what is BitCountry and what is Metaverse Network. Here it is. As I understand it, BitCountry is the application, you know, the platform or the API, application programming interface, which users will be interacting with. This is where we will be building metaverses, staking near and crafting NFTs, while Metaverse Network is the blockchain protocol itself for metaverses and dApps, where all metaverses, NFTs and native assets will be stored. Now back to BitCountry Crown Loan and Rewards. If you still haven't claimed your NIR rewards, you can do so here on this BitCountry Reward Claim website after connecting your Kusama contribution address here. Also remember, if you contributed at least one KSM, you received four land units in Chaos Land. If you contributed less, I believe you received two land units. Also, I just noticed today there is also a special NFT bonus for the first 2000 contributors. You can check your ranking by contribution time after connecting your Kusama wallet. This special NFT will be a bit minting booster, which will boost your minting power by 15% over 14 days and will be claimable on BitCountry app along with your land units. Initially, 30% of NIR rewards was unlocked at TGE, which took place on March 6th, so up until today you should have around 64% of NIR rewards claimable. So if you haven't claimed any NIR since that initial unlock, you can do so now on Polkadot portal. Switch to BitCountry Pioneer Network, go to your accounts, click these three vertical dots, Unlock vested amount, sign and submit and sign the transaction. The rest of your NIR rewards will keep being vested until the beginning of November when BitCountry's Pioneer's parachain lease on Kusama ends. Now back to NIR token and its utility. I think NIR will have a very strong utility as it will be needed for many activities on the platform. Naturally, this is great for the value and price of NIR, as the more utility, the higher demand for NIR. It's never good when there are tokens released without having any utility. This won't be the case for NIR. First and foremost, staking NIR will generate you bit rewards needed for building. So everyone will need to hold a little bit of NIR to get some bit to be able to build. 
also NIR will be used to cover NFT minting and on-chain transaction fees as well as for voting in governance and cover gas fees on smart contract platform. Smart contracts will launch after mainnet launch. I think what is meant by this is the launch of BitCountry Continuum mainnet on Polkadot. Also for purchasing land blocks and for map auction, advertising and promotions. And NIR will be also the currency for NFT trading on local marketplace. You see, a strong utility for NIR, the token will be needed basically for every user's interaction with BitCountry Metaverse app and for all on-chain transactions. Given a very low initial supply, about which I'm gonna talk in a moment, I think NIR could hold quite okay price-wise even in this market. And now more details about NIR transfers and the initial supply. Pioneer's blockchain runtime upgrade, which will enable NIR transfers, has been scheduled on Tuesday, August 30th. So next Tuesday NIR will become transferable and next week will also most likely get listed. It's almost guaranteed that NIR will get listed on Gate Exchange as they hold this initial free offering of NIR, basically airdrop for Gate lawyer users, 171,000 NIR will be distributed. But I'm hoping NIR will also get listed on KuCoin or Kraken or at least on MEXC as I'm not a big fan of Gate. It happened to me several times that I transferred tokens to Gate and had to wait for deposit confirmation over an hour while the token was already trading. Now the question is how many NIR will be in circulation on Tuesday? Gate in their post about NIR airdrop shared this NIR allocation with released schedule. I compare it with this NIR allocation from official BitCountry Pioneers documentation and it is the same, so what is on Gate should be correct. The total supply is 100 million NIR and the supply is non-inflationary and over time even deflationary as stated here. If I did my research correctly, only NIR allocated for crowd loan, ecosystem and marketing will be unlocked and transferable once transfers are enabled on Tuesday. NIR allocations with this red cross will remain locked for at least 12 months since TGE, which took place on March 6th. That means they will remain locked until March next year. So not only that the initial circulating supply will be quite low, but it will also remain low until next March. So from Crowdloan Rewards, for which 15.5 million NIR has been allocated, by Tuesday around 64% should be unlocked, that is around 10 million NIR. Early backers nothing, then there is near for the ecosystem purposes 5 million. These were unlocked at TG back in March, so in theory all these 5 million can get into circulation too. However, it says here to be released within the next few years. Still, these 5 million NIR will be transferable. Future investors and reserve nothing. Then there is marketing that is another 5 million NIR potentially released on the market. Also, marketing tokens should be released within the next few years. But there is no guarantee this will be true. So I'm counting these 5 million into initial circulating supply. Founding group nothing. And lastly, treasury reserve 22 million. These NIR coins are most likely also still locked. Well, so only NIR for crowd loan ecosystem and marketing will be initially in circulation so between 10 to 20 million near I realistically think it will be around 15 million. This initial near circulating supply gives us some realistic expectation for near listing price. What I personally find to be very good news is that the circulating supply won't increase much till next March. Only the rest of crowd loan rewards will get vested and unlocked that is around 5.5 million near and that's it. So the circulating supply should remain between 15 to 25 million near until next March. That's all for today about BitCountry Pioneer. Many exciting things are coming next week. I'm hoping to do another update next week after the full launch. Thank you for watching and goodbye.